AI has discovered faster sorting algorithms. Alpha Dev from Google DeepMind is a AI based system that makes use of reinforcement learning to discover enhanced computer science algorithms. So what they have done is that Alpha Dev has uncovered a faster algorithm for sorting. Sorting is a method for ordering data and billions of people use these algorithms every day without realizing it. They underpin everything from ranking online search results and social posts to how data is processed on computers and phones. Okay. So what they have done is that they have uh, open sourced the new sorting algorithms in the main C++ library, thereby millions of developers and companies around the world can now use of it. Okay. So what is sorting? Sorting is a method of organizing a number of items in a particular order. Examples could be alphabetizing three letters, arranging five numbers from biggest to smallest or ordering a database of millions of records. Okay. So here is an example of an sorting algorithm given an unsorted list of elements. The sorting algorithm sorts it in an ordered way right and sorted numbers are the output so this is in ascending order right so the contemporary algorithms took computer scientists and programmers decades of research to develop so how is ai you know going to uncover faster algorithms so what they said is that what they're saying over here is that uh, alpha dev uncovered faster algorithms by starting from scratch rather than refining existing algorithms by looking where most humans don't look at. So the computer's assembly instructions. Now what are assembly instructions? Assembly instructions are used to create binary code for computers to put into action. Developers write in coding languages like C++, Python, Java. These are high level languages. This must be translated into low level assembly instructions for computer to understand. So the developers behind alpha dev or the researchers behind alpha dev believed that many improvements exist at this lower level and it is difficult to discover in a higher programming higher level programming language okay computer storage and operations are more flexible at this level which means there are significantly more improvements that could have a larger impact on speed and energy usage okay so given a C++ code, a compiler converts into assembly and then an assembler converts it into executable machine code. So they started looking at assembly level instructions. Okay. So this is a sorting program, right? Which is a C++ algorithm that sorts two elements. This is the corresponding assembly representation of this code. Okay where you have movement between registers, computation and other things. Okay. So this is assembly level code. So how did they find the best algorithms? So this, uh, they kind of model this program as a game. Okay. The activity of finding the best sorting algorithm as a game, right? So alpha dev is based on alpha zero. Alpha zero is the reinforcement learning model that defeated world champions in games like go chess shogi, right? So to train alpha dev to uncover new algorithms, they transformed sorting into a single player assembly game. At each turn, alpha dev observes the algorithm it has generated and the information contained in the central processing unit. It plays a move by choosing an instruction to add to the algorithm. Okay. The assembly game is incredibly hard because uh, alpha dev has to efficiently search through an enormous number of possible combination of instructions to find an algorithm that can sort is faster than the current best one. The number of possible combinations of instructions is similar to the number of particles in the universe basically or the number of possible combination of moves in the games of chess 10 to the power of 120 games right or go 10 to the power of 700 games and a single wrong move can invalidate the entire algorithm okay so the basic idea is the alpha dev um, this particular reinforcement learning model considers this sorting algorithm as a game right and it tries to generate newer instruction uh, you know assembly instructions at every move in the game and what it 
uh, tries is that as um, you know it generates this algorithm it keeps checking the output right so uh, you have all test input sequences and the algorithm is generated one instruction at a time okay and as the instruction is getting generated it checks whether the output is generated properly if you don't get the expected output then there is a particular reward right and based on that reward the algorithm uh, the reinforcement learning algorithm uh, you know calculates its next move or next assembly instruction okay so the player alpha dev receives the state of the system as an input and plays a move by selecting an assembly instruction to add to the algorithm that has been generated thus far the reward computation after each move the generated algorithm is fed test input sequences for sort 3 this corresponds to all combination of sequences of three elements the algorithm generates an output which is compared to the expected output the agent is rewarded based on the algorithm's correctness and latency okay in this way this algorithm is built one instruction at a time okay alpha dev wins the game by discovering a correct faster algorithm so this is how it was developed now alpha dev uncovered new sorting algorithms that led to improvements in the llvm lib c++ sorting library that were 70% faster for shorter sequences and about 1.7% faster for sequences exceeding 250k elements so they focused on sorting algorithms for shorter sequences of 3 to 5 elements these are widely used and they are often called many times as part of larger sorting functions improving these algorithms can lead to an overall speed up for sorting any number of items because when you have a huge list your sorting algorithms inevitably break them into smaller chunks and these smaller chunks are then sorted right if you take quick sort if you take any kind of approaches sorting approaches it is it is inevitably breaking the problem into smaller problems and then trying to solve at the smaller levels and then combining back the results right so when you make improvements at the smaller level you inevitably get um, you know improvements at the larger level right so they also reversed engineered the algorithms and translated them into c++ so these algorithms are now available in the llvm lib c++ standard sorting library used by millions of developers and companies around the world okay so alpha dev not only found faster algorithms but also uncovered novel approaches uh, its sorting algorithms contain new sequence of instructions that save a single instruction each time they are applied this can have a huge impact as the algorithms are used trillion times a day we call these alpha dev swap and copy moves okay this novel approach is reminiscent of alpha moves move 37 a counter intuitive play that stunned onlookers and led to the legendary defeat of a, uh, a defeat of a legendary go player okay with the swap and copy move alpha dev skips over a step to connect items in a way that looks like a mistake but is actually a shortcut so this shows alpha dev's ability to uncover original solution and challenges okay so basically this particular mu over here this is the original implementation with min of abc right alpha dev swap move so here if you see it is actually computing just min of ab instead of abc so it discovers that it requires only this over here it doesn't require this extra you know element c over here right so this uh, thing has actually helped improve the algorithm right uh, they show another uh, example over here this is the original where you have implementation with max of uh, b comma min of a c d okay used in the larger sorting algorithm it just replaces it by min of a comma c over here right so only this is required over here so in this way it is saving one instruction at a time uh, you know each time it is applied it is saving one instruction okay so alpha dev uh, not just discovered faster algorithms but they wanted to see if it can improve hashing all right um, so hashing is an algorithm where uh, you know data uh, the algorithms take data for a specific key and hashes it a process where raw data is converted into a unique string of character the hash is then used by the computer to retrieve data related to the key quickly so when they applied alpha dev uh, you know 
they alpha dev discovered uh, the algorithm that alpha dev discovered was 30% faster so 30% faster hashing algorithm was also you know uh, discovered and it is also part of the open source app cell library okay so in this way alpha dev uh, you know can be used uh, what they are trying to see is that if alpha dev can be uh, used as a uh, step to you know improve one algorithm at a time right uh, and what they are saying is that while optimizing the space of low level assembly instruction is very powerful there are some limitations as the algorithm grows and they are trying to see if we can up, uh, put this approach in high level language such as c++ which could be more useful for developers right so this is quite an interesting development and there is this blog also uh, which talks about you know understand this in a little bit more in detail uh, understanding about deep mind sorting algorithm uh, so in this blog it is uh, written quite well what actually happens in this particular uh, discovery right so here uh, explains that uh, the particular sort 3 is actually uh, you know uh, converted into the assembly operation so how uh, it is explained in detail over here how this algorithm works and uh, you know what is the kind of improvement that has been done over here and uh, you know how does it work so that has been explained over here in this blog post you can check it out for yourself so this was a short video on alpha dev or google's deep mind um, google uh, deep minds ai discovering faster sorting algorithms i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video